This is the video for book seven of the Nicomachean Ethics. It's going to be very short. There is very little that you need to know before reading the book. The only thing I'm going to mention is just this idea which is central to this book. And this is the idea of weakness of will, or as it's sometimes also known, akrasia. That's the Greek word. And what is weakness of will? There's different ways of understanding it, but the main way is weakness of will, or akrasia, is when you know what the right thing to do is. You know what you should do, or at least you think you know what you should do. You have in your head some picture of, here's what I should be doing, but you don't do it. You do something else. So, for instance, maybe you know it's bad to smoke cigarettes. You don't get anything out of smoking cigarettes except just a deeper addiction. It costs money, uh, it is bad for your health, it pollutes the environment. So you know just when you weigh up all the reasons for and against smoking cigarettes, there's just no good reason to be smoking the cigarette. But you smoke the cigarette. That's weakness of will, that's akrasia. Some philosophers think weakness of will is impossible. Why? Well, look, if you know what the right thing to do is, or if you think at least you know the right thing to do, then you will do it. What's going to stop you? If you smoke a cigarette, it must be because you think ultimately what matters more than all those negatives is the feeling of smoking the cigarette. If you didn't think that, then you wouldn't smoke the cigarette, but you do think it, so you smoke the cigarette. Or uh, there's some unhealthy food, and the question is, should I eat the unhealthy food? And some people say, well, you might know it's wrong to eat unhealthy food, it's bad for your body and so on, but you do it anyways, you exhibit weakness of will. And other people say, no, that's impossible. If you really thought you shouldn't eat the food, like all things considered, you shouldn't eat the food, then you wouldn't eat the food. It must be the case that you thought, actually, eh, maybe I should eat the food. Now, just to be clear, we're talking about all things considered judgments. So of course, there's always reasons for and against for doing anything. So should you study for the test? Well, there's lots of reasons for, but there's always some reason not to, like, you know, it would be boring or something. So weakness of will is not when you do something that there is some reason not to do. We always have some reason not to do everything we do. So if I win the Nobel Prize in physics, there is some reason not to do that. It's going to be like a lot of publicity. I'll, I don't want people calling me for interviews and stuff. But that doesn't mean it's weakness of will if I win the Nobel Prize in physics. Because if you ask me, all things considered, what's the best thing to do? I might say, oh yeah, winning the prize in physics, that's maybe all things considered better than not winning the prize. So weakness of will is just when you think, you know, taking all my reasons into consideration, I shouldn't do something, but then you do it. And so is that possible, yes or no? And what should we say about it if it's possible? And so that's the focus of this book, and so get ready to learn about that.